Would you rather have open borders or a wall? Give me open borders because you know what? You put a wall up, that's saying that you, you don't want nothing to do with anybody else. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we got to talk about a very important issue, and that is the southern border between the U.S. and Mexico. Now, I've done quite a few videos on it from a variety of different angles. Who's responsible? What's happening? How many are coming across? You have cities that are being overrun with migrants like New York City, Chicago, etc. I've done plenty of those videos, but today we got to focus on what the American people think. Let's go out there in the street and ask people, hey, what is your viewpoint about the southern border? Should it be open? Should it be closed? What's going on? Now, before I go any further, let's get into it. This is going to be from Malik Snaps. I will place his original video in the description. If you're on IG, visit a link in the bio. Go to the correspondent article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Would you rather have open borders or a wall? Give me open borders because you know what? You put a wall up, that's saying that you, you don't want nothing to do with anybody else. Okay. <laughs> now, of course, I've seen a video before. I covered it on my live stream. And shout out to you guys who were there during Wednesday's stream. But this young lady right here was all over the place. And let's speak on what she said right now. Hey, open borders because with a wall up, that's like saying you don't want anybody here. Well, yeah, it's the same reason why you, young lady, put a lock on your front door, your house, on your car door. If you were in school, you had a locker with your books in it. You put a lock on that, a combination lock, a key lock, all that good stuff. When you go to PE, your gym class, you get a locker, you put a lock on that. So why can't we have a wall or any kind of security to keep the border closed? I don't understand. You secure everything else. Why can't we secure the border? Make it make sense, but let's continue. I don't think a wall works. I don't think open borders work too. But what's the so, solution? Just stop them. I mean, you know. <laughs> just, just stop them. So, hey, man, a wall, that don't work. Open borders, that don't work. So just, I don't know, just, just do something. You see, people like this, they don't understand the way that this society has to operate, the way the world works. They don't understand that certain things have to be done to achieve a goal. You want the security and you want the safety of a society with borders, but you don't want the borders. So you want to have it both ways, but you can't. It's either one way or the other way. And what we're dealing with right now is the other way. But let's continue. I mean, you know. Open up the borders, say, hey, we're here for you. You're here for us. Okay, let's go ahead and be one. At no, I, I don't think so. We're not going to be one. I don't know you. You don't know me. I have my house. You have your house. Let's keep it like that. We can be friendly neighbors. OK, but you could be a neighbor over there. You don't have to be in my house or my property to be a neighbor. Be a neighbor over there. As we're supposed to be. Uh, there's a lot of people who they just need to come over because they have a lot of like uh, like big problems in their life. And there's no any opportunities in their in their countries. So but look, people in America who are natural born U.S. citizens have problems in their life as well. Does that mean that I can, for example, break into your house, sir? Let's say I live wherever you live, and I'm sure I'm not sure where Malik Snaps is. I don't know where this video is being recorded, but can I just go to your house and just lay on the ground and say, hey, man, look, I have really hard things happening at my house. I'm, I'm facing a lot of challenges, a lot of trials and tribulations. Let me crash in your house. I don't think that he's going to let me do it. So if you're not going to let me do that, then why should we let them do that when it comes to our country? Maybe if you don't have to deal with it, then it's fine. If it's someone else's responsibility, kick the can down the road. Well, I don't want to deal with it. I want to benefit from my action, but I don't want to face consequence of my action. So kick the can down the road. Let them deal with it. So if it's going to be like open walls, it's going to be like a lot better, in my, in my opinion. You know, people are coming over from Mexico. And I think it is Mexico who has to worry or who has to take care of that. Not now, we're going to talk about Mexico in a minute because Obrador, the president of Mexico, he commented on a lot of what's happening with the migrant crisis. We'll get to that in a minute. Y'all hang tight. Of the U.S. As far as the southern border goes, we know that most immigrants don't actually come 
through the southern border directly. They usually overstay tourist visas or go via the ocean. Let's pause right here. Now, this is a common argument. It's really a deflection to say, well, look, ain't no need for the wall because people are coming through their um, the, the planes, trains. They're, they're not coming through the border illegally. All right. Now, she's correct when she says that people come here illegally about overstaying their visas, things of this nature. Right. They come here legally at first and then they become illegal after a while because they're their papers expired. That is one way that illegal immigration happens. However, there is also another way. There's more than one way or two ways or three ways to come into the country illegally. And the Southern border right now is wide open and it's being inundated with thousands upon thousands upon thousands of mostly men every single day. So let's not act like that's not happening because something else is also happening. So I don't know if like a wall would necessarily be effective. Okay, so you see everything else going on in New York, Eric Adams. There's so many migrants. They right. can't they can't afford to pay for their hotels anymore. What is the solution for that? Obama, Obama send I don't know. Used to have planes and send them back. Obama and Biden send them send all of them back. That's what we should do. Yeah, especially the ones if you they don't have a good record. How, what is the solution to the whole? Okay, yeah. So in the back, I agree with deportation, but you know one of the main ways to prevent having to deport all these people is to build the wall up and stop them from coming in the first place. Old migrant crisis in New York. So you know how you got big businesses and how they keep all their money for themselves? Open up, help, pay for these rooms for others because people are looking to better themselves. Okay, now, first of all, if I'm a business, I'm not gonna be spending money on the migrants, number one, but number two, People don't understand that they're throwing money at it, just letting them be here, paying for rooms. Same thing with the homeless. All you're going to do is encourage more of it. They're going to call their cousins back home and say, hey, come to America. They're giving out free money, free rooms, free this, free that. You're going to encourage them. It's like leaving out food for rodents in the house. You're going to attract more of them there. Now, am I trying to call the migrants rodents? No, I'm not. I'm just giving an example. Let's keep on going. And what would you say to those people that say, no, this is my money. I'm not going to spend it on those people. Baby, the same way you made that money, other people are trying to make that same money. So money is just literally circulated. It's what? <laughs> Did anybody understand that? Hold on. Let's let's go back. To spend it on those people. Baby, the same way you made that money, other people are trying to make that same money. So money is just literally circulated. I don't understand. If anybody can decipher what she was trying to say, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to figure that one out. It's not forever going to be yours. Who do you think had a better immigration policy, Trump or Biden? Well, Biden, because Trump hasn't been president yet. Trump was never president. What happened between 2016 and 2020? Who was president? So Barack Obama was president in 2008 to 2016. And then from 2016 to 2020, who was it? Oh, it was Trump. Okie dokie. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. There might have been a little bit of deadpan trolling or just some ignorance or some drugs going on. I don't know what was happening. But shout out to Malik Snaps for the interview. Again, I will link to his channel in the full uh, video in the description. But let's hear from Obrador. Okay, this is the president of Mexico. Okay, this uh, came out on 60 Minutes on this Sunday. And let's check this out. Here's a caption from them. The president of Mexico's proposal for stemming immigration, illegal immigration, includes the U.S. commit $20 billion a year to poor countries in Latin America and the Caribbean, lift sanctions on Venezuela and the Cuban embargo, legalized law-abiding Mexicans living in the U.S. That sounds like extortion to me. I mean, maybe I'm thinking incorrectly. Y'all let me know in the comments. But let's hear from the, the, the president of Mexico himself. With the ear of the White House, President Lopez Obrador proposed his fix that the United States commit $20 billion a year to poor countries in Latin America and... Uh, uh, fair use for 60 minutes. The Caribbean lift sanctions on Venezuela, end the Cuban embargo, and legalize millions of law-abiding Mexicans living in the U.S. If they don't do the things that you've said need to be done, 
then what? Great question. What happens if your demands aren't met, Mr. Lopez Obrador? What are you going to do next? What's the, are we going to continue to face a migrant crisis? What's happening? The flow of migrants will continue. You're critical. Well, there it is. <laughs> okay, so he, he's telling you, look, give me this $20 billion bribe, $20 billion with the B. Give us a $20 billion bribe or we're going to continue to flood you with migrants have said what you're doing or what you're asking for to help secure the border is diplomatic blackmail. What do you say? I'm speaking frankly. We have to say things as they are. And I always say what I feel. I always say what I think. He's just keeping all the way real. It's like, yo, you call it whatever you want to call it. You call it blackmail, call it whatever. So what? Yes, yeah, blackmail. Basically, what I hear, although he did not say this, what I hear is, yes, yeah, blackmail. So what, what you going to do about it? That's what I heard. And if you heard something different, let me know in the comments. If they don't do those things, will you continue to help to secure the border? Yes, because our relationship is very important. It is fundamental. All right, so there we have it. That is from uh, Lopez Obrador, the president of Mexico, talking about, hey, man, we need some money, $20 billion, or you're going to keep seeing the migrants coming through. We'll secure the border, yeah, but you're still going to get the migrants. But as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to all the citizens of the USA who are kind of iffy about the border being secure. I think you want to have that secure because you don't know what's coming across. The media will say, like Barack Obama said many years ago, that they are fruit pickers and bet makers. I didn't say it. Barack Obama said, don't try to attack me for being a racist. But they'll say they're fruit pickers and bet makers. But in reality, you don't know what you're going to get. And at the end of the day, as I close, if it's illegal, then it's illegal. If you, a regular average everyday normie American citizen like myself, get jammed up for a crime, we're going to the penitentiary to make big rocks to little rocks. But they can do whatever they want with impunity and get rewarded for their illegal behavior. It's ridiculous. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on what some of these American citizens or uh, American residents said about illegal immigration, the southern border, et cetera. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. How about what the president of Mexico, Obrador, how about what he said? Do you think that he was just being honest? Do you think it's kind of crazy that he's going to extort the U.S. like that? Or is it more about the Biden administration not doing what they should be doing to fix the problem? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is the state of our country, unfortunately. People don't understand that you got to have a tight and secure border. And I think once the country becomes really unstable, knock on wood, then they're going to realize. But of course, as always, it will be too little, too late. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.